Hi, I'm Annie Woods for Moms Every Day, and I'm here with Libby Lovig from the Northern Nevada Dairymen. Thanks so much for being with us, Libby. Thanks for having me here. So a lot of people go out and they choose their low-fat milk or their non-fat milk, but there's been some recent studies coming out that are saying that the whole fat in some of these dairy products are actually really good for us. Absolutely. I think um, the first thing that we have to recognize is that the uh, guidelines, uh, dietary guidelines for all Americans came out the first of the year, and they're still recommending um, low-fat and non-fat dairy products as part of a healthy diet to make sure we get all the nutrients um, that we need, the potassium and the calcium and the protein. But the research that came out right on the heels of the dietary guidelines is saying perhaps dairy fat isn't the culprit that we've always thought it is and that maybe it doesn't contribute to the coronary artery, artery disease like we've always thought it had. So, you know, while it's probably better to incorporate some of that now or you could incorporate that, please don't you know, go out and go overboard with that. Right. We still want to be careful that we're using everything in moderation and trying to have a well-balanced diet, but to not be so scared of getting things like butter and whole milk, these are still things that should be incorporated Correct. in the diet, but again, in a moderate, not to, not to be overdone. And it's not, I mean, whole fat dairy isn't the criminal that we've always thought it was, and right. I think that's really good information. Um, the new research is very promising, showing that that's actually maybe even helpful for some certain diseases, coronary disease and possibly type 2 diabetes. So, um, good research, but right for now, let's stick with the maybe non-fat, low-fat, incorporate a little of that whole-fat food. Yeah, yeah, that's really fascinating because, again, I think so many people just, it's their gut reaction to want to mm -hmm. grab everything that's fat-free. But our bodies do need some of that fat. Our brain needs some of that fat for right. developing. Right. And that's really interesting. Okay, so people should be, again, moderate. Moderate. Don't go crazy, but start incorporating some fat. It's not bad. Don't shy away from the butter. Right. And maybe you don't have to go and get those special products. You know, use whole fat cheeses sometimes and use that whole milk in a recipe. Maybe it's not as bad as we once thought it was. Well, thank you so much. If you'd like to learn more on this topic, you can visit MomsEveryday.com. Thanks for watching.